hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we are going to talk about cognizant gen c result updates okay and interview preparation strategy going forward so make sure to check the video till end okay and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and coming coming back to gen c preparation i have already uploaded a lot of videos for your interviews okay be it technical hr oops conceptual based everything is there in this playlist make sure to check it it will be super helpful okay so guys if you have also appeared for your technical assessment soon and if you are waiting for your results and interview updates you might be knowing that cognizant has recently released its result and the college tpos has also given like uh, updates to the students okay so uh, basically the college tpos has informed the shortlisted candidates that uh, these are all the candidates who have been shortlisted for the further rounds the next step is what now the interview process okay so the interview process will begin very very soon uh, this is and now i would highly suggest you that this is the very right time to start preparing seriously for your interviews okay because you can expect your interviews from next week onwards okay uh, around uh, 26th feb or after that okay so i would highly suggest you that if you haven't started your preparation please start preparing it because you know that there are three different roles gen c gen c next and gen c pro so you will be getting uh, emails and you will be getting updates on which role or for which role you have been uh, shortlisted and for which role you have to give your interviews so accordingly you have to prepare basically the interview of gen c will be quite easier or as compared to the ones uh, for setting for gen c next and gen c pro because we know the pay scale is also different that is why so to help you i have already like uploaded a lot of interview preparation videos on my channel seeing that you will get an idea basically your focus should be on your project explanation that is the first important part okay next thing uh, like should be your topics wise preparation okay so you should be good with your sql queries stuff and then operating system concepts for operation system concepts you can see the video that i have posted okay in that i have tried to cover all the concepts of operating systems how much and what you have to speak in your interview when you are asked the question on abstraction inheritance and encapsulation or different other topics we have different pillars in oops right so all of that and let me know if you also want a video on like specific other topics like operating systems or sql or anything i will bring those videos soon okay okay and you should be good with your programming fundamentals like java python and c++ as you can be asked to write code in the interviews not can be i would highly say that uh, you will be definitely asked to write a basic code or a advanced level code also you will be given a problem you have to solve that also based on your roles and based on the interview it depends okay now uh, you have to keep in mind that not every candidate will have their interviews on the same date okay so when i'm saying 26 feb it does not means that all of you will be having the interviews on the same date but the process will around from next week and uh, uh, will start from next week and then you have subsequent interviews okay so since you won't have much time that is why i'm saying it is crucial so that you start your uh, preparation now onwards and if there is any help if you want from my end like any preparation videos or interview experiences please let me know in the comment section of this video basically the more the comments i will get i will get to know that okay it is highly in demand and i will post videos sooner for that so that uh, you will get benefited for it okay uh, also if you have any more questions you can also dm me on instagram i can share you some preparation materials also so that you can you know prepare from it but the main thing is please prepare your project explanations very well and i was getting some questions that you know we are not having our projects hosted anywhere on github so is it compulsory to host our projects on uh, github so that you know we can display it to the like interviewer so guys no it is not mandatory because see first thing is not every project is hostable on like you know uh, hosting platform for example if you are making a project in web development or something then it is possible for you to host it right uh, so that it can be displayed or showcased but there are some project which are machine dependent which can only run in your system and your laptop so it's not possible for you to you know showcase it or uh, on any hosting platform or it is not globally hosted so see they also don't expect you to showcase or run the demo of your project the main goal is that you have to explain it in a better way and you have to you should not lie okay it should not look like that you have not even created or worked on that project but you are lying something okay so whatever you have created it should look like okay they, if they ask you minute details about the project also then also uh, you should be able to explain it okay that is the main cons uh, concern here and uh, if you have seen my interview experiences videos you might have already got a good idea that you know uh, what kind of 
like technical questions are being asked basically what you have done uh, or studies in your four years from any subject you can get questions okay from basic to advanced level so some points that uh, i would suggest is be confident while speaking okay be confident don't like fear okay that okay i might lose this job if i will speak this or that see this is not the point of being uh, fear okay or being scared okay this is the point that you should be confident on whatever you are speaking okay okay one more point or tip from mind is when you are preparing okay like when you are preparing for your interview questions and experiences by watching those videos try speaking out okay speaking out loud why i am saying this see uh, speaking out loud why i am saying this because see we know you know sometimes i have seen a lot of candidates i myself used to take interviews okay so i have seen a lot of candidates who are very good with technical uh, and very technically inclined i would say but they do not have the practice of speaking and they are not able to explain the concepts or ex they are not able to answer in a better way or if they are answering also they stammer a lot okay they will like they will not be able to answer in one flow okay and they will stuck a lot while they are speaking so all of that you know also reduces or give a negative impression in interview so i would highly say that while preparing please speak it out okay it does not matter uh, when you are reading also so for example if you are reading a question okay and then you have seen the solution of it so try speaking it out how you will speak in your actual interview when this question will be asked to you this will be very helpful i'm telling you because you know uh, in the interviews this is the major problem that we face that we stuck okay in between we don't know what to say after speaking one or two lines we got short of words and even though we have a lot of content in our mind but we can't bring it on our tongue right so this is very important and when it comes to hr questions hr questions uh, there are like you know few basic stuff which i have already explained in uh, like my previous videos if you check that playlist hr questions they are like for example you know there will be questions like are you ready to relocate so they don't say that no okay like it is a short short answer you also always have to say yes so those some tips and tricks you can so, uh, prepare by watching those videos and managerial round questions you don't have to worry about you just have to be uh, focusing on uh, like you know technical questions because we have seen th this interview round is also a rejection round okay so many candidates get rejected from interviews also because you see you have followed a long process from like you know your aptitude and then your technical assessment and then in now interviews so it takes a lot of effort now since you have already invested a lot of effort and now you are already in the last final phase then why not giving your best right so give your best and be prepared and don't stress out first of all you know there will be situations which will happen that you know they are asking you tech question uh, like any technical question which is core technical uh, related to any concept from operating systems or anything and you don't know so don't worry see there can be two scenarios first scenario can be you don't know anything okay you do have no absolutely no idea about that and there can be second scenario that okay you know some stuff but medium only okay basic only so see in first scenario i would say that if you have no idea what the question is and you have never even heard of the topic you can just simply say that you know at the moment i can't recall or i don't have idea about this okay so that what will happen now your time will not get wasted because you know see for example i'm telling you one scenario for example you got a question okay uh, like threads in operating system some de detailed topic or, or detailed question on that okay and you have no idea what they are saying or semaphore or something okay like you have no idea what they are saying or what the question is about and you know you are pretending that okay i am thinking in my mind but in your mind you know that you don't know anything and the interviewer is getting the impression that you are okay maybe you know the answer but right now you can't understand or you need to think so he is giving you 5 minutes or 2 minutes okay what will happen you will think on keep on thinking and then after 2 minutes you will say that oh, okay i don't know the answer this will give a total wrong impression that you know even after thinking and even after you knowing the question you can't answer it okay so better than that just waste uh, 10 or 15 seconds and simple say no and so that your interview will not get that negative impression that you know i asked this question but he took some time and my time was wasted okay and he is not he was not clarified about that topic or something right because you are not wasting time right so maybe in your next questions you will like increase your or improve your impression right that is very very important i hope these tips were helpful for you so i don't want to waste more time okay and uh, let's close this video by this point okay and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section you can join me on telegram and instagram if you have an if you have any other customized queries you can ask me there too make sure to subscribe to the channel as i'm planning to post more videos related to interview preparation please let me know in the comment section uh, your reviews on which topic specific topic you want the video and i will be trying to post that soon okay so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time